Five Negative Personality Traits of Aquarius Zodiac Sign Explained Let's get it out of the way. Aquarians are one of the luckiest zodiac signs when it comes to their negative traits. Not because they don't have them. They have plenty, but rather because they sincerely can make them work for them. And they're often better off when they embrace these negative traits, at least when it comes to their careers and their projects. Of course, that involves foregoing any sort of social life whatsoever, because when Aquarius lets their negative traits take over, there's simply no place for anything else. Aquarians are stubborn, detached, cold, logic-oriented, and incredibly independent, which means that, to them, dropping everything and everyone to go after what they want is not out of the picture. And while that can push them to succeed in their life, it can also drive off the people they care about. Below, we've compiled a short list of six negative Aquarian traits that show you exactly how Aquarians' negative traits are a double-edged sword in their careers and personalities. Number 1. They can be aloof and unemotional. As a general rule, Aquarians prefer to approach all situations in a cold and calculating way, choosing to use logic instead of emotions to acquire the best results. While this is undoubtedly the correct way to approach many topics, it's not necessarily the best way of approaching people. Because of this, Aquarians tend to come off as aloof and disinterested in other people's emotional well-being. Let's be honest, for the most part, they are disinterested in other people's emotions, but when they do care and want to comfort others, they tend to do it in an almost robotic, highly critical way often sharing advice and lecturing people who just want emotional comfort. Number two, it's very hard to change their mind. Aquarians are one of the most stubborn signs in the zodiac, which derives in no small part from their logic-based approach to life. When they're convinced of something, it's usually because they have a lot of data to back those convictions up, so trying to change their mind with emotion-based arguments is a losing battle. Aquarians like to cling to their cold, hard facts, whether they're real or not, and to change their mind about something, anything, you'll have to contest their worldview in a way that makes sense to them rather than just tell them off. If it sounds like a lot of work, it's because it is and many people won't even attempt to undertake the task, knowing exactly all the hard work that will go into showing Aquarians that they're wrong. Those who decide to attempt it, though, keep in mind that Aquarians don't like being proven wrong, but to their credit, when they realize they're acting on erroneous information, they tend to change their ways. After some considerable pushback, that is. Number 3. They don't compromise. Aquarians aren't in the business of compromising. They have a tremendously black and white worldview where people are either right or they're wrong and there's no such thing as finding the happy middle ground. They either support things or don't. They either belong to friend groups where everyone agrees about the essential things or are on their own. Aquarius is a fiercely independent sign, and they have no problem going it alone if that's what it takes to be comfortable. This is one of the reasons why Aquarians find it generally difficult to establish long-lasting and deep connections with other people. It's not that they don't want them, they love to have it, but it's rather that they don't want to compromise to get them. Aquarians want all their relationships, romantic or platonic, to be on their terms because only then can they make things make sense in their logic-driven minds. Number 4. They are completely contradictory. Despite their logic-based personalities and lack of general desire to compromise and find a middle ground, Aquarians contradict themselves all the time. You'd assume a sign that chooses logic over all else would be above hypocrisy, but you'd be wrong. Yes, they're comfortable with their solitude and have no problem being on their own, but they also crave the company of others and are often looking for new social groups to join, and that goes double when it comes to a romantic relationship. They can act as the most independent person on Earth, but when the opportunity for a promising relationship presents itself, they'll shed that persona in a second, or worse yet, they'll double down and present themselves as even colder than usual to avoid looking too desperate. 
The thing about Aquarians to keep in mind here is that these contradictions come, once again, from their logic-based personalities. They see something they want, and they'll look for the right combination of words and actions to get it. For people who treasure logic and reason above all else, they sure can act illogically, but that's simply what happens when you're not in touch with your emotions and don't make it a habit to try and understand people on their level. You become blind to how awkward and unable to tell how people see you. Number 5. They don't like to settle for anything. While not settling for the next best thing isn't necessarily a negative characteristic, Aquarians often manage to take it too far, resulting in an individual for whom loyalty and commitment means very little when a better opportunity presents itself. Their independent personality and go-getter attitude push them to improve themselves as much as possible, and they're not afraid of discarding the old to chase after something new and better. In a way, this is commendable and makes Aquarians a force to reckon when it comes to their career and enterprises. It also just happens to mean that you should never expect undying loyalty from an Aquarian, at least not if you don't want to be sorely disappointed. They'll go after what they want, even if it means going over you to get it. This is perhaps the biggest reason why Aquarians have such a reputation. They focus so intensely on what they want, and they don't consider how their actions will affect others. They simply do, and then they're surprised when it turns out people are upset with them. Believe us, it's not an act. More often than not, Aquarians generally don't understand why people tend to react so harshly to their choices. Because of them, said actions were backed by logic, and if logic is behind something, then it's case closed for them. Conclusion Because of their logic-based mentality, individualistic natures, constant desire to improve themselves and personalities, Aquarians tend to come off more machines than a person. They're not bad people, and like everyone else, they have their soft, mushy interior, which they choose to protect after an ironclad lair and an ironclad lair of logic and reason. However, their refusal to dig into their emotions too deeply and their knee-jerk reaction to use logic for every aspect of their life results in a lot of insecurity for the people hanging out with Aquarians, as they're not entirely sure where they stand. Even when Aquarius cares deeply and sincerely about someone else, to the point that they're willing to sacrifice their individuality and independence, at least for a little while, it's often very hard for the other person to tell. Though they can be very social, Aquarians often struggle to communicate their emotions and let other people know how they feel, choosing instead to let their actions talk. While there's nothing wrong with this, it's not uncommon for it to fall short, resulting in confusion and a lack of communication that makes other feels like Aquarians don't care about them enough. Overall, Aquarians aren't evil individuals, but they could benefit tremendously by leaving logic aside for a few seconds and trying to act like an actual human being, allowing themselves to feel and laugh and, yes, even suffer so that others have an easier time identifying with them. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share, and let us know your thoughts in the comment box.